You might think that cooking potato in the air fryer would be pretty simple, but the amount of awful recipes and bad advice out there is absolutely staggering. So I'm here to save the day with my tried and tested, completely perfected recipe for cooking the best, most amazing chips or french fries. So the shopping list is pretty straightforward. You're gonna need potatoes. I'm using these red skin roosters that I use for everything. And note to the oil police, this uses oil. We're making chips, French fries, that have a nice light and crispy exterior, not a hard and dry oilless chip, right? So we're gonna to want to peel the potatoes. You can either use the peeler, or you can do what I like to do, which is just run the knife down the, the sides after cutting off the edges. And this gives us like a nice, almost rectangular shape, which gives us a good base for chopping them. But then we'll, we'll lightly trim off the bits of skin that we didn't cut. We get like a nice uh, rectangular shape. Now this one, we're gonna slice into three slices, okay? Three slices. So they're you know slightly less than a centimeter in thickness, as you can see from those panels. And then we're just gonna cut them into the individual chips or French fries. You know, we were able to make about five from each piece. That's 15 from, from that potato in the video. Now, if you wanted to make French fries that you'd get more, you know, commonly in fast food restaurants, you know, just make them thinner. You know, that, that potato, I probably could have got four slices and then I probably could have got another one or two from each slice, okay? But you can see what they're like. Once they're done, we chuck them in the bowl and work our way through the rest of the potatoes. So this is the first step in the technique. Boil your kettle, boil your kettle, okay? And then pour that boiling water over all of the potato, okay? So it's fully submerged, okay? And then we're gonna leave it in this water for about five minutes, okay? Five minutes, five, six, you know, five, five to 10 minutes, okay? Five minutes is the, you know, the golden rule. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna to start to wash off some of the starch, but it's also gonna, it's gonna do the very start of the cooking process, but very, very lightly, okay? So we're gonna rinse off, we're gonna drain away all that water, we're gonna stick it in a bowl, and then we're gonna pat these dry, okay? We want, we want the dry potato, because you know that's what's gonna give us you know, a better result when we actually cook it. So if you could look at that, it's a bit out of focus, mate, but really what you can see is that, you know, you can see what I was saying, just the edges have started to go kind of white, okay? Indicating that they are slightly, slightly cooked, okay? We're then gonna put in, you know, three or four tablespoons of oil. We want to coat all of these chips, okay? We want to coat all of these chips. Now don't worry, you know, we're gonna drain away some of this oil later, but we need the oil for cooking, okay? Because, you know, we're making chips, we're making french fries, you know, you know, we're not making a baked potato. So, uh, preheat your air fryer for about three or four minutes, okay? Okay, you can see I'm putting this in with 24 minutes to run. We're then just gonna pour all of that in, you know, pour most of the oil, you might as well stick it all in, and then throw it back in the, the air fryer, as I say, we're starting here with about 24 minutes. About halfway through, open it up, give it a bit of a shake, twist some of them over. Then once that's done, you know, 24 minutes, you're looking at some good good chips here, right? So then this is it. We're then gonna tip these back into a clean bowl with the paper towels, and we're just going to uh, pat these, some of the oil off so they're not covered in the excess oil then what I like to do is just leave it covered for about 60 seconds, okay? 60 seconds, because then you get that get that golden sweet spot between soft and crispy. Obviously, we're gonna want to season these bad boys, but, but take a look at that, you know? They're looking good. They are looking super, super good. As I say, they're the cross between, you know, the crispy exterior, soft and fluffy on the inside. This is a real dream. These are the chips that I want to eat, okay? I don't want to eat dry, hard 
chewy chips. I want light, soft, crispy, fluffy chips. All right then guys, so we have made some chips or french fries, uh, depending on what you call them. We cooked them for around about 24 minutes in the air fryer for uh, at about 200 degrees C. Okay, now if you want these crispier, my recommendation would be to just cut them thinner. Okay, cut them thinner. Um, these are still, you know, gonna be pretty crispy and fluffy and soft in the inside, which is really, really cool. Um, but the technique that, that I use, obviously, to, you know, soak them in the boiling water for a bit, you know, gives us the, the edges that are gonna crisp up. Um, and then, coating them in the oil in the bowl before you put them in there make sure make sure that they are fully covered in oil essentially and for the people that say you know you shouldn't be putting loads of oil in an air fryer blah 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 we're making chips french fries <laughs> do you know what i mean these are conventionally fried if you just put potato into an air fryer with nothing um, you're gonna kind of get quite a dry exterior, okay? Which some people are gonna be more than happy with, okay? But for the purposes of this recipe, which is to make some real quality, you know, fryers, we need to have the oil, okay? And it, it, you get a great result, and you don't get the, the smells around the house, you know, if you were using a deep fat fryer, for example, um, you know, if you put these in the actual oven, they will dry out 100%. So this is a unique advantage of using the air fryer with a bit of oil to get quite a quite a cool little thing. It's, it's definitely one of the advantages of using the air fryer generally for these sorts of things and using, you know, some oil. Okay, so essentially, let's see what we've got. You know, this is one of them. If it focuses, I hope that it's focusing. I don't know if it is. Probably isn't. Is it focusing? There we go. I think it is now. And you're getting quite a decent chip there, you know. Decent. So let's give it the old taste test. As I said, you get a lovely, you get a lovely exterior, crispy, nice and soft in the inside. I mean, this, this is actually quite, I'm not going to put McDonald's on the description of the thing, but this is somewhat similar, somewhat similar to the McDonald's fries. They're just, um, you know, obviously significantly bigger than, or thicker, should I say, thicker than you'd get. But the taste is fairly similar, fairly similar. And as you can see, right, as you can see, we've got, we have got the bend, you know, you don't want something that is rock hard here. <laughs> you want, you want, you want the soft, you want the soft, um, really creamy interior with the crunchy of the corners and that's what you get with this recipe you know you can't really go wrong i've cooked chips fries in the air fryer in a whole different style okay sometimes i'll actually i'll boil the potatoes but then you get they get quite fragile they get quite fragile um and that's better for if you're doing roast potatoes which i will do my roast potato video at some point um, you know, probably early in the new year. Um, um, sometimes, you know, I've put them directly in the air fryer uh, without using the, you know, soaking them in the boiling water and you just don't get this consistency. You just don't get it, okay? Um, you get you get a more dry out. You get a kind of, the, the, the coating is tough rather than crispy. Okay, so there we go. I don't know if we can really, I need to work out how to do this with the camera. I need to become a camera expert. But there we go. Anyway.
don't know if you can hear that, but these are absolutely brilliant. So I hope that you try these out. I hope that you enjoy this. If you do, hit me up in the comments. Um, and if you want to support the, the channel, hit the thanks button or check out the, the links in the description. We'll see you next time for another great little recipe.